Hey, it's Michael Coxon on the Huser team, Realty One Group here. It is June 2021, checking in with my crystal ball prediction for the rest of the year. Uh, I encourage you to watch 2020's prediction, only because I was right. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So I get asked this question a lot. Is this market going to crash? Is this like the last big run up in prices? And the short answer is no, and here's why. Two different markets, entirely different markets. This one is being fed by sound fundamentals. And what I mean by that is we have high demand and low supply and people buying houses who have money. Uh, last time we didn't have those things. We had high supply, we had high demand, but we had people getting mortgages that perhaps shouldn't have gotten them. And that led to them buying two, three, four, five houses and being a bit over leveraged and uh, had no equity in their homes when um, things went south. This time people have a record number of equity in their house. Uh, many homes are owned free and clear and of the ones that are not, uh, the majority have significant equity. So even if they got in trouble, uh, they could sell their houses, make money and move on and even buy another place or go rent. Um, I mentioned demand. There's over 2,000 people a month net moving to the Las Vegas area. Um, that demand is significant. Supply shortages are real. So both resale and new construction, there's no inventory. Uh, on, the, on the new construction side, we have uh, supply chain uh, issues. You've heard about lumber, but also appliances, HVAC, micro trips. Um, there's a lot of computerized components in houses. You know, this really drives up prices. There is a backlog of materials that can't get to port and in the builder's hands. Um, you've read recently that lumber prices have dropped. Well, they dropped about 60%, um, but the bad news is they're up 400%. So it's still roughly three times higher than the historical average uh, to get lumber, which is the biggest line item on any builder's uh, 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 balance sheet. So I do not see prices going anywhere uh, south for that reason. Um, the Fed just announced they may increase interest rates in late 2022. Uh, that's over a year from now. So it's gonna be a while for uh, the cheap money to go away. And while we're talking about interest rates, they are still the lowest they've been in history. So a quarter percent is not gonna affect somebody buying a house that much. Um, speaking of housing affordability, so prices are high, right? We all know that, okay? Um, that is only one of three components that determine the affordability of a house. So price, is one. Second is the interest rate. So a $500,000 house at 3% is cheaper than a $500,000 house at 5%, right? And then the third thing that determines affordability is income. So people's wages have been rising. Historically, people have spent roughly 25% uh, of their income on housing. Um, that's a, a median number. And now that median number is about 14% of income. Um, to buy a median price house. So you see it's not just uh, price that determines whether a house is affordable. So this makes uh, 2021 one of the most affordable times to buy a house in history. And um, the charts are here to explain that. Uh, but give me a shout if you have any questions about all of this. I'm diving deep into the data every single month um, to explain to you what I think is gonna happen, not based on opinion, but based, based on facts. Uh, my number is coming up at the end of the video. I thank you for watching and feel free to reach out anytime with questions. Until then, take care and be well.